I got, uh, when I added uh, 200 grams to it, I got 10.97 uh, which is, uh, divide that by 10, 1.097 seconds, right? That's my T experimental. Right, 1.097 seconds, I'm dividing it by 10. So now what's the T, the T theoretical? Two pi square root of M over K. Now, if the formula is correct, that it should predict the answer pretty close, okay? M is what? The effective mass of the spring, which is X, right? Plus the total mass that I have on it. Divided by K. So the effective mass of the, the X was uh, 0 0.051. How much added mass do I have? The total, everything. I have the hanger, which is 50 grams. Then I have 200 grams added to that, 250, right? So 0.25 divided by k, which we assumed is about 10. So now if the formula is correct, it should predict the period very close to what we got. Let's see here, the moment of truth. 1.09. Wow. This is worth like getting out of the classroom and just running around the campus and yelling physics rules, physics rules. You guys wanna wanna do that? 1.09 seconds, isn't that awesome? That even proves the 2 pi, you see? Otherwise, it wouldn't have worked. It, would, it proves the 2 pi. Uh, so uh, the units prove the m over k, but uh, 2 pi is proven by doing this. Now we could do other stuff to this and prove a couple other stuff. What if we put two springs? OK, so these are two similar springs, OK? What if we put two springs end to end, put 200 grams, whoa, way down here. Whoa, it's touching the ground. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's going to be really hard to do this then. Let's see here. So now what should the period be? Two similar strings, springs next to each other, I mean end to end. Now let's time it. Ready, set, one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, really slow. Eight, nine, ten. Seventeen point five nine seconds. So when two springs are put end to end, it's making them weaker than each individual one by itself, right? It's making the weaker spring. So 
Then no, no, I have here, how many grams do I have? Uh, uh, let's see, 250, right? And then each one has its effective mass, xx, right? Same effective mass, let's say. Same spring constant, k. So here's what I could do. I've already proven that the formula is true, right? So I can use that formula to calculate the total k of the system, right? t equals 2 pi square root of m total over k of the total of the system. And I can see what the k total of the system is. I want to know how are springs adding up when you have them in series. This is known as a series, n to n. You see? So I can put here, what did I get? 17.59, divide that by 10. So 1.759 seconds. 1.759 seconds, 2 pi square root of m total is uh, 0.25 plus 2x, right? Each one has its same effective mass. So 0.25 plus 2 times, uh, 2 times uh, x, x is uh, 0.051, right? So you know what, let's just approximate it as x is 0.05. Right now, we're doing more uh, rough answer. So divide that by k total. So the 2 pi goes down there. You square both sides. And then so for uh, k total. Let's see what we get here. So that's going to be, k total is uh, 0 0.1.35 divided by uh, 1.759 uh, squared, and then this one squared, 4 pi squared. That's what's going to happen when you solve for k total. point four eight so let's say the K of each is uh, 10 right we estimated so roughly what's happening when you put them in the end to end it's half it's about half of each one they're cutting each other in half so what should be the general formula how springs end, uh, add in series? How do, uh, uh, how do springs add in series? Well, anyone know how capacitors add in, end in series? Adding series, if you have a battery, it's the same formula. We're going to do that in physics 3. Exactly, they're reciprocals add. 1 over k total is 1 over k1 plus 1 over k2. It's the same way that capacitors end in, uh, add in series. And it's the same way that resistors add in parallel. If you have two resistors, resistors in parallel diminish each other. Capacitors in series diminish each other. Springs in series diminish each other. Okay. So this is the formula then. 